As Truman Capote once said, Venice is like eating an entire box of chocolate liqueurs in one go. The city does overwhelm your senses with its beauty, history and charm. And today, I'm excited to take you along an unforgettable journey through Venice and show you how I spent 24 hours in Venice. The journey started soon after we checked into our hotel. We were filled with excitement as it was the last leg of our Italy trip. As you leave the train station, you are greeted by this beautiful view of the stunning canals and everything that you ever envisioned is basically right in front of you. Our first stop was a temporary art fair happening during our visit. It was extra special for us as my cousin's artwork was being showcased on such a prestigious platform. This was a moment of pride for the entire family and I couldn't be more grateful to be able to see it in person. While my cousin was representing Finland, we also had the chance to visit Spain's exhibition which was absolutely lovely. Each piece truly captured the spirit and beauty of Spanish culture. After soaking in all the art, we headed to lunch. The food here was just lovely as you'd expect in Italy. On our way back, we made a quick stop at the stunning Basilica di San Marco, Venice's most iconic cathedral. The intricate details and the breathtaking architecture left us all speechless. And right next door was Doge's Palace, a symbol of Venice's rich history and once home to the rulers of Venetian Republic. And from there we wandered through the charming narrow lanes and iconic canals. Everywhere you turn, Venice revealed its beauty. The beautiful homes lining the waterways, the tiny bridges, all of it felt like you're stepping right into a postcard. Next, we came across the famous Bridge of Sighs, which connects the palace to the prisons. Legend says it's named after the size of the prisoners who caught their last glimpse of Venice as they crossed and walked into their fate. We then stumbled upon a hidden gem, the Libreria Aqua Alta. I had heard about this unique bookstore on Instagram and it did not disappoint. Inside, you'll find a quirky collection of books with part of the store set inside a boat. It's such a fun and free spot to explore and snap some great photos. Afterwards, we treated ourselves to one of the best gelato in Venice at Suzo Ice Cream Parlor. Seriously, you have to try it if you're ever in Venice. Refreshed from that, we made our way to the Ponte di Rialto, one of the best places to watch the sunset. As you can see, it gets crowded very quickly, so we grabbed a spot early and just relaxed, taking in the views of the gondolas and the golden light on the Venetian houses. I would say this was the highlight of my trip. We were just sitting there, catching the sunset, overhearing a guy who was basically born and raised in Italy go on and on about how beautiful Venice was back in the days and how it has changed over time. As the sun was setting, the bells rang across the city. It was such a beautiful moment. Finally, we made our way back to the train station to return to our hotel, wrapping up what was short but the most incredible trip to Venice. And that concludes our Venice adventure and my Italy tour. 
Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out other videos linked here and I'll see you in the next one.